I've been through a lot in these past two weeks. I'm able to look at life in a, in a whole different way. I said, my God, somebody gave her a bad bag. I promise you, that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. And then I saw Ray J. Ray J is currently shaking in his boots after Diddy threatened to sing like a bird about what he did to Whitney Houston. Unless Ray J and everyone who he has dirt on comes out and helps him get out of jail. Diddy is currently real desperate to get out of there, and according to reports, he's more than ready to cut a deal with the feds, even if that means snitching on everybody. I mean, Diddy offered up to $50 million and a bunch of him and his mother's properties as a bond for him to be released on two different occasions, but the judges said absolutely not and kept him in that nasty cell. So we know for a fact he's willing to do just about anything to get out of there. And this is apparently why Diddy is refusing to eat or sleep in jail because he's afraid they might Jeffrey Epstein him before he's able to tell the truth about everyone. And that very much includes Ray J. I know that you were the first, uh, one of the first ones at Clive's party to speak about Whitney's mm -hmm. passing the other day. Yes. And uh, that, that was, um, did you know her well? In fact, not too long before Whitney's death, there were rumors about her and Ray J being in a romantic relationship. And people were not here for this because the age gap between them was completely ridiculous. Ray J was 31 and Whitney was 48. Secondly, everybody knew that Ray J was hooked on some kind of substances and they felt like he was gonna be a bad influence on Whitney, who was also struggling with substance addiction. As I got older, I said, well, I'm just gonna party, you know? It was kind of a rebel in me, you know? Whitney dying, rehab fails. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crap. Get that straight, okay? We don't do crap. We don't do that. Because whack. Is it alcohol? Is it Is it Is it pills? It has been at times. All? At times. If you had to name the devil for you, the biggest devil among them? That would be me. It's my deciding. It's my heart. It's what I want and what I don't want. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want to do. It's my decision. So the biggest devil is me. I'm either my best friend or my worst enemy. And that's how I have to deal with it. But now do you say, not at all? Or do you say, I can... Well, I'm not going to tell you that. I could tell you that I am not self-destructive. I'm not a person who wants to die. A person who has life. From the looks of it though, Whitney really wanted to get a hang of her addiction, and that's why she was very much aware of her struggles, but she wasn't able to get herself together. And having another nose candy enthusiast like Ray J around did not make that situation no better. In fact, there were even rumors that Ray J was the one who gave Whitney the drug the night that she passed. And this was later confirmed by Whitney's ex-husband's sister, Leola Brown, who said she knew that Ray J had something to do with Whitney's death the moment she saw the footage of him sneaking out of the hotel and hiding his guilty face from the cameras. I first seen this, and I saw the news, and I saw, I, and I'm sorry, please excuse me, I just have to come out and say this. Please. I saw Ray J coming out of the hotel, hiding his head, being pushed into the car. Why? I looked and I said, why is he hiding? Why is he hiding his face? He's always trying to show his face. Some reason, or he knows somebody, somebody that sells and he was buying them for Whitney, from what I know, and giving her and in case y'all were wondering what she was talking about when she said Ray J was sneaking out and hiding his face, well, here's that video. Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately for Whitney, she was not able to shake her addiction, and on February 11th of 2012, she was reported dead. Apparently, she lost her life to an accidental drowning in a bathtub at the Beverly Hills Hotel before the pre-Grammy party. Immediately, the news of her passing started going around and people heard the details of it. They then began speculating that there was foul play because some things were just not adding up. For starters, the coroner who investigated Whitney's death, Ed Winter, released a report a month after Whitney's passing and this report was pretty shocking to say the least. According to the report, they found loads of substances that had been pumped into Whitney's body just hours before she died. And these substances included marijuana, Xanax, Benadryl, and other undisclosed medication. Ed Winter also fueled the allegations about Whitney possibly being drowned by somebody in the bathtub when he said the amount of in her body wasn't enough for her to lose control and accidentally drown. In fact, Ed explicitly said that Whitney was still alive and breathing at the time she submerged in the water. He said, there was water found in her lungs that indicated to us that she was alive when she submerged in the water. According to our test, the level of co was not necessarily a lethal level of co but her death was complicated by chronic co use and heart disease. She could have passed out first due to the intoxication from or she could have had a heart attack and then drowned. It's probably one of those two scenarios. Prescription pill bottles were found in her room, but the number of pills were not in alarming amounts. The report from the coroner completely turned this case around and made people suspect if Whitney's death was actually a murder case. Now, when all this came out, a lot of people instantly had their eyes on Ray J because he was the only one close enough to Whitney to pull something off like this. The allegations got even worse when Jaguar Rice stepped into the chat and accused Ray J of giving Whitney substances the night that she passed. Jaguar claims Ray J was actually the last person to see Whitney alive, and he even brought a substance dealer into Whitney's room to provide her with all sorts of different drugs, despite knowing very well Whitney was just one pill away from a possible OD. Jaguar also spilled the tea about the defense bruises that Whitney had on her body, which alluded to her being unalived. When they did her autopsy, they said there was nothing wrong with her throat. She, her lungs were so damaged that she couldn't fuel the notes. It was her lungs. It wasn't, her voice was fine. Oh. That's, that's, how, that's how Clive did it. And then the next thing you know, she's Ray J. And yeah, then yeah, it's Grammy happened. time. That happened. And her and Clive had a fight two days before. And from what I was told, Bobby Christina was present for some of that fight. And then the next thing you know, um, she's dead. Ray J was the last person to see her alive. He let the drug dealer in, but she was sober, right? But he let the drug dealer in that gave her the shot. Leola has said, Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister, has said on several occasions that her, she was mm. They saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub, like she was up. Oh, wow. And Brandy was the one that found her. But you know, they, they pledge allegiance to yeah. Clive too. Jeez. Well, you know, Ray J was kind of down on his luck because the whole that had happened and then, you know, Whitney was dead and he was using her as he's said himself for clout. And then all of a sudden he got love and hip hop. LA after Whitney died and then they inappropriately put her stupid goddaughter on there. Uh, yeah, I, I just thought it was all kind of cheesy. What's even more sinister about this whole thing is that just weeks before Diddy was arrested, Ray J had a mental breakdown and nearly spilled the tea about what he did to Whitney. This happened just a few months ago when a video of him getting into a physical altercation with the executive of Zeus Network, Pepper, at Glorilla's BET Awards after party went viral on social media. He 
crashed out real bad after this and went on a rant that people believe was about his alleged involvement in Whitney's death. He said he was planning on taking his own life and that some people in the industry who he had been receiving payments from to keep some dirty secrets in the industry, aka Diddy, are now coming after him. He said, The itch that is happening is mind-blowing. It's making me suicidal and uncomfortable with the perception of reality. They paid me to shut up and I did. I feel bad and I hate myself for it. I don't want any more of your dirty money. These chain of reactions are stemming from being locked in a false reality slash confused about this whole life. That ish that happened tonight to me at the awards today was hurtful. I'm working backstage and then I go take a break in the back and BET wouldn't let me in for some reason. I don't know who they didn't want me to see. It was weird. A lot of people felt like Ray J's guilty conscience was just eating him up and that's why he made this post. In fact, it turns out this wasn't the first post of its kind that he had made. Cause back in 2017, he revealed in an interview that everything that happened to Whitney that night was all his fault. And that one day he was gonna come out and tell everyone what he did. I had so many people calling me offering millions of dollars to have an interview. I was like, I don't need the money. It's not good money. That's just not right. My karma would be bad. Nobody can explain. It's all my fault. All of that happened. It's all my fault. Now this is where things get even messier because word on the street is Ray J is one of the people who Diddy has info on and apparently Ray J is panicking right now because he's afraid that he might be incriminated for his involvement in Whitney's death once this trial starts. These rumors got fueled when this interview of Ray J looking nervous and trying to be selective of the words he was using after he was asked his thoughts on the allegations against Diddy started to go viral. People accused him of trying not to say the wrong thing so that Diddy don't snitch on him when that trial starts and he starts singing. Ray J has known Diddy most of his life. He considers him a mentor as well as one of his closest friends. What do you want people to know about what, how these allegations hit you? Had you ever thought you would hear this about the man? I didn't. Um, and I think it's just, it's a, it's a different time in this game. And you know, when you look at our mentors and the people that have kind of shaped this culture, it's important to acknowledge the mistakes that they've made, but, and we have to hold everybody accountable for what they've done. But I don't think this is a time to tear anybody down, right? Instead, it's a time for this industry and everybody that's going through this and seeing this to learn from the mistakes and create a roadmap for the future of the industry together, right, um, in, in unity. As if this ain't bad enough, a video of Diddy looking very uncomfortable in an interview with Ellen after he was asked about Whitney's death started going viral and people felt like this was real suspicious. One of the first ones at Clive's party to speak about Whitney's mm -hmm. passing the other day. Yes. And uh, that, that was, um, did you know her well? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, when I was when I was growing up in the music industry before I had success, I somehow got on her wedding invitation. So I was at her wedding, but, but I didn't really know her, but it was like the hottest thing in town. Chill, it looked like Ray J better start to enjoy his days to the fullest. Cause if he gets incriminated in this trial, oh, it'll be over for him. And mind you, Diddy's trial is actually just a few days away. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, this is what I heard from Ray J's interview. Diddy, please don't snitch on me or expose what I did at your parties because I'm one of the ones who's defending you. I got your back, man, so I need you to have mine. Ray J is a liar and has a horrible reputation for his unscrupulous reputation. He's not a reliable judge of character. He's lying. Another person said, Ray J isn't innocent. He's known to be a runner for other celebrities. Where was he when Whitney passed? Why was he hanging out with Wendy? The black community will tell you. We know the truth about you, Ray J. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Ray J getting exposed for his alleged involvement in Whitney's death? And do y'all think Diddy will really snitch on him? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.